Hey everyone, Brett Kelly here for another Tuesday Tech Tip 45 Drives, and no, that doesn't get easier to say each week. Um, this week, we are going to continue along with our kind of month-long series of uh, releasing our new cockpit or Houston modules. Um, I say it that way because remember, we are building these things in mind of our own 45 Drives Houston customers, as well as the general cockpit community itself. So, this week, we're talking about benchmarks. So everyone loves to benchmark their systems, their servers, their computers. Whether you got yourself a big brand new gaming computer, a big heavy compute server, or a big storage server, you want to run a test on it and you want to like, yeah, see those numbers. You want to see that, how fast that thing is. Um, so how do you do that? Well, there's all kinds of benchmarking tools and in Linux, there's even more. Um, but they're all command line based, right? Um, in particular, FIO, the flexible IO tester, which in my opinion is one of the best um, uh, benchmarking tools. Uh, really, really powerful, really, really useful, but if anyone's used it in, or read the man page of it or anything, it's big, it's complex, and it's, it's hard to just bang off a file command to see how fast your server is. So, uh, keeping in theme of, of these series of updates of get them out of the command line, we made a module that makes it very easy to just quickly benchmark your storage server using file, but cleanly through the UI. So, Enough words, let's look at it. Okay, so we're sitting at our Houston slash cockpit landing page. Everyone has seen this so far. So if you see on the left panel here under tools, we have benchmark. So benchmark is a very simple looking UI because this should be a very simple task. So uh, we do have support for two uh, benchmarking tools, FIO and IOZone. Uh, we recommend FIO, that's what we have recommended there. Um, and uh, we've got different benchmark types. So just run you through this real quick. Max throughput will just run a kind of uh, like very big block size. It'll give you the best performance you can expect out of this server throughput wise. How much data can I move in and out of this thing? How big's my storage pipe in a way? Um, or you can run a max IO and we shrink that block size down and we see how fast the server can respond. Um, and then we've got this third option, which we've kind of deemed the performance spectrum, where in real life, is anything truly big, huge, perfect block size, or just really, really small, fast IO? Uh-uh. Workloads are varied. Workloads are set by applications. And a lot of the times, no one really even knows what uh, kind of block size or workload their application's doing. So we figured the best way to kind of show people uh, their performance of their server is to give them their performance spectrum. So what this button will do is it will run the uh, file test through 4K, 8K, 16K, all the way up to 1M. So you get kind of the full spectrum, if you will, of how your storage server will, will respond. Um, anyway, that is a quick description of what those buttons are. Let's actually run a test. So um, I'll set the file size to just 512 megs here just so it doesn't take too long. Um, you can go as big as you want. Don't worry, the way we run this test, we do use direct I.O. So what that means is it will bypass the memory cache and only hit your storage. Uh, this is big for benchmarking because sometimes your memory cache inflates numbers, particularly if you use a file size that's smaller and it can all fit into your RAM cache. So that's a big part of benchmarks where Honestly, benchmarks are black magic sometimes. You can make numbers look any which way. So we've made a point to give the like, here's exactly what your storage array is doing. So um, anyway, with that aside, let's run the test. So like I was saying, this is agnostic. This doesn't care if you're on a Houston running on a Storinator or if you're cockpit running on any other server. This runs file, installs it as a dependency, and just takes a file system path and does its work and plots it out. Um, so, enough talking, let's get a path going here. Um, uh, to, no, you know what, we have Navigator. What am I going to the terminal for? So mount, I have CephFS, I have this directory. This is a directory I was doing some tests on before, so let's use that one. Go back to benchmark, I'm gonna drop this in. And now we're gonna see the spinning circle. So. This will just spin until it's done, and then it'll spit out our graph here, so we'll be back in a second. Okay, 
So um, here's what the output looks like when it's done. You'll get a little green box at the top that finishes, and you get to choose to download the, the report that we get in either Excel format, CSV, or uh, LibreOffice ODS. Um, but the actual results themselves, let's take a look at that. Um, so we plot it in this way, a graph, like remember performance spectrum, we look at 4K, 8K, 16 block size, all the way up to 1M, and we look at both the IOPS and bandwidth. And uh, like, for example, I only want to see the read throughput. Well, there we go. Oh, sorry, it changed again. I want to cancel that, that, and that. So I only want to look at the reads. So the bandwidth on the side here is in megabytes and seconds, and there we go. Very interesting results. Say you only want to take a look at the random I.O. write performance. And then as you can see, with, with, as the block size gets bigger, the I.O. performance goes down, as you'd expect. But uh, the whole point here is you get a quick little uh, look at how fast a file system is on your, on your storage server. You want to download that and keep it for later? Well, select your format, hit download report. It shall spin up in the background here. Yeah, and it opened on my other side here. It opened right into my format. So you can save that for later, plot it, use it for other things. Okay, so that's a wrap on uh, Cockpit Benchmark. Like I said, it's up on GitHub. Full release is coming soon, but uh, if you feel like tinkering, give her a try. Works on both Houston and Cockpit systems. There's nothing uh, that ties it to being a 45 drives, um, requires use on a 45 drive system, sorry. Uh, and yes, if you didn't check out last week's video already when we showed you Cockpit Navigator, our file system browser built into, um, into uh, Cockpit Houston, um, check that one out and uh, stay tuned over the next few weeks as we roll out our other new changes that are coming. Remember the theme, guys. Cockpit lets you do whatever you want. Houston lets you do whatever you want. You can go to the command line or you can get out of the command line and we're gonna make that easier with our updates here. So, uh, hope everyone enjoyed that. Catch you next week.